Zoom in. Not zooming out. They're zooming in. Hello. Good morning, Internet. But it's not really morning. And I think we both know that. So early, it's almost dark out. I'm near the window with coffee and the usual early morning stuff that passes for thought. When I see the boy and his friend walking up the road to deliver the newspaper, they wear caps and sweaters, and one boy has a bag over his shoulder. They are so happy. They aren't saying anything, these boys. I think if they could, they would take each other's arms. It's early in the morning, and they are doing this thing together. They come on slowly. The sky is taking on light, though the moon still hangs pale over the water. Such beauty for a minute, death and ambition, even love, doesn't enter into this. Happiness. It comes on unexpectedly and goes beyond, really, any morning talk about it. Happiness by Raymond Carver. What a load of crap. I love a good poem as much as the next guy, probably even more than the next guy. I really do like poems. It's this really cool abstract thing that makes you think about what other people are thinking about when they wrote the poem. And it's this really cool thing that like makes you think in different ways. But that was a poem about happiness. But it was talking about the morning time. Are you happy in the morning when you have to get out of bed? Are you happy? A lot of people might say yes. I say no. Because I don't like mornings. I'm always grumpy because it's before I've had coffee and uncaffeinated Logan is not a happy thing. I get grumpy looking at sunrises because I can't enjoy them. But I always say good morning whenever I greet someone. So I feel like saying good morning expresses that there is still potential in this day. And I do really believe that. There's a lot of potential in every day, no matter when in the day it is. And I think saying good morning expresses that. So I find myself in a state of contradiction where I say good morning because it expresses the potential of every minute regardless of what time of the day it is, but I hate mornings because it's something that I have to get up and motivate myself to do. I bring this up because somebody asked me when I was complaining about mornings and how much I hate them, why I always say good morning. And I feel like it's not an easy explanation. So I normally just like brush it off and say, cause it's morning somewhere. Even though that's not why I say it, it's just really easier not to explain it. So when I say good morning to you, it's not just this happy-go-lucky greeting. It is me telling you that you have potential no matter where you are in life or what you're doing. There is always that potential for you to just go out and get it. And in my stage of life where I am working a job that doesn't mean anything to me and I don't feel like I can do that much like in the community and to help better people. I think it's important for that constant reminder, even just to myself, that there is potential in every moment and that just because you're at the end of a chapter or you're in the middle of something that's horrible doesn't mean that it is lost. That potential is still there. Just like every morning, the sun still rises. So no matter what time of day it is, or where you are in life, and what you are doing, good morning. There is a lot of potential out there for you. Go out there and get it. So speaking of potential that I need to get, um, I'm behind on videos, obviously, as this is number eight, and this is the 10th. And I skipped six altogether, that's fine, I don't care. So in the next couple days I'll be making up the videos, so calm your tits, I'll get there. So, like the video if you liked it, don't if you didn't, I don't care. Subscribe if you haven't already and all that YouTube-y stuff I'm supposed to say. So have a great day, Internet, and I'll see you tomorrow.